Um, let's do a practice swing. Okay. So do the one that you were doing before. It was like way out here. Okay. Yeah. And then it was coming down like too here. steep and then you kind of like bail out on yeah. it and then it was shanking and stuff. Okay. So then we watched it and you tried some things on your own and we got to there. taking you more back, right? Yeah. So go ahead. Okay, it went this way, right? Yeah. Good. So hold your club up here. Yep. Up here. Yep. Okay, so we've done these before where you go in a circle. Yeah. Just keep your arms straight. Yep. So I want the I want the club head and your belt buckle going in a circle this way. Yep. Yeah. So this way in a circle. Circle, circle. Okay, so in wedge shots, yeah. we don't want to I just borrow your club real yep. quick. Unless you're trying to hit a high shot, we don't really want to use the wrist. Okay. So basically you're losing a lot of distance, right? Yeah. So if we flick the wrist a lot, we add more loft to it and it's going to go really high. Yeah. So if you want to hit something, if you're hitting something high and you're losing distance, yep. always, always tell you to do the opposite, right? So yeah. what would be the opposite? Opposite would be less wrist. Yeah. So we shaft lean it a bit, low follow through and really try to punch them low and smash the ground. Okay. Okay. Right now you're, it's a lot of flick and it's like very soft off the ground. Okay. So we'll get into that. But first I want you to turn your body more club okay. more around your body so that when you do come down i want it to feel more like a slab shot okay okay and wedge shots we want to have more width more width so okay. right now you have a lot of Height. verticals going yeah. on okay okay all right so let's just do no ball yet yeah and just go around your body so exactly what you did in the air just go here and then good yep but hit the ground so it's a lot of chest we don't really want to use the legs so much yeah so I'm just going to hold your head steady here and you're going to go around your body. Yeah, over here, try to keep some width. Good. And then straight, just straight the whole time yeah. and straight. Okay. See how you like, see how you like try to create power downwards yeah. like that? Don't. You just stay still. You're just kind of spinning. That's it. Yeah. So up and down movement too much in wedge play, we don't want that. Okay. So you'll see a lot of tour players when they finish. Yep. They're in their wedge shots. They're they don't their foot doesn't even come up. Okay. So we create a lot of, lot of power in our swing by doing this, okay. squat and jumping. So yep. like force off the ground. Yeah. When wedge play, we don't want any of it. Yeah. Your legs are just kind of dead. Hips move just because the chest is turning, but yep. I want you to feel like it's a lot of chest and a lot of arms. Okay. Like this. Okay. Yep. So, in terms of like what you feel in your body. It's just like your legs and head are doing nothing. Yep. You're going side to side with your chest motion. Good. Keep doing that. Good. Really try to keep your arms far away. So more towards the camera and then towards the target. Straight. Straight. Yeah. Cool. Let's try some of those. Don't have to hit them hard yet, but just do it that way. Okay. Good. Okay, good. So I like how you're hitting the ground there. Still didn't, but I like how you hit the ground there. Okay, so just now keep your weight a little on your left side and try to stay there yeah. as you turn both ways. Okay, that's a better strike, right? Yeah, that felt good. Yeah. So keep your arms away from you. Yep. As wide as possible, and you're just turning the chest. Yeah, that's way better. Okay. Yes, sir. Did you? Would you say you swung hard? No, that one didn't feel like it was that hard. Before we were swinging hard like as you full, could, and hard it as wasn't I could. Yeah, yeah. So your arms are not like tight and stiff, yeah. but they're like. They're yeah. Not, so how narrow loose. should my feet be? Like, is that good? Ball position. Oh, like, like width, width of your feet? Width of my feet, yeah. The, yeah, just like nothing more than like... Like two, one hips, or two yeah. shoes? Yeah, okay. Grab this off there. So that's why we want to kind of stay on your left side. Yeah. So we kind of start on our left side and we want to stay there. So wedge play is not about power. Yeah. 
like I know you're losing a lot of distance right now. Yeah. Right? But ideally it's not about power. You just want to stay on your left side and pivot on your left side. You don't want to have so much side to side motion. Okay. It's not about power, it's about where you land this, right? Okay. And if you really need you could use your fifty six. Okay. But it's more about like really, really good contact. Okay. Okay. So we're trying to limit the up and down motion in our swing, the side to side motion in our swing. Yeah. Stay on the same spot as much as possible. And then we just spin it in a circle. Good. So let me see a backswing. Take it back. Okay. And then relax this a little bit. But yeah, it's just further away from you. Okay. Okay. And then straight the whole time. And here. Okay. Come down again. You kind of shift it to your right foot. Stay on your left. Yeah. As you come down, you stay on your left. Okay. So turn it and stay on your left. Yeah. And stay on your left. Yeah. So regular full swing, we want some like side to side, right? Yeah, right foot, yeah. left foot. But wedge play, we kind of just need to stay anchored on this side. Got it. Not a whole lot of this. Got it. If it's a full swing, maybe. Okay. If it's like 50, 40, 60 yard shot. Yeah. Not really. And if you need, feel like you need to drive power yeah. by having this, then just switch your club to a 56. Okay. Instead of doing that. Okay. Stay on your left side, big turns, wide arms, both ways. Good. Okay, so once we get the motion right, then we're going to start adding more power. Okay? okay, but for now, let's just keep doing this. I would say stand a little closer. And also, your shoulders are aiming quite left. Yeah. So go ahead and set up. Yeah. I feel like I was too close there. Yeah, you were. Uh, Should I try with the 56 now? Let me just kind of explain something. Yeah. I probably mentioned this before as well yep. when we were chipping, but basically power is like, it's not only the size of our swing. Like I think we've worked, talked about before, like I can take a full swing and do it so slow and so lightly. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll try to do two different swings here. So I'll go full swing, but slowly. Yep. And then I can go full swing really hard. Okay. Okay. So, yes, size is important of yep. the swing. Size is important, eh? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, here, right now we're just learning how to not go here. Yep. In front. Yep. But then I want you to, like, put more force in it after. Got it, okay. Same, same kind of thought like slap shot, man. You just smash the stick harder in the ground. Okay. Um... Yo, it's weird because I shoot left in hockey, so I'm, I'm yeah. so the, it kind of reversed. Yeah, yeah. But that's just the idea of it, though. Yeah, yeah. Okay. This is my 56 now. Okay. Big chest turn. I didn't get wide there. This ground's a little higher than your feet, too. Yeah. It makes a difference. So I don't don't worry about chunks. Like yeah. I'm fine if you chunk it. We'll just we'll just get better at landing it closer to the wall. Okay. So only difference between those two is like you land where you landed the club, right? Yeah. That was closer to the wall. So I want you to feel like you lean into it more. Okay. Here. So show me a practice swing where you feel like you kind of lean into it more. So we really hit the ball first. Yeah, before with speed. Yep. Show me one fast. And just stay the same height. So you gotta stay the same height, and yep. you're gonna turn through it and you're gonna smash the ground. See, so that's better. Okay, hit it, like try to hit it over the green now. Over the green? Yep. You can bend your wrist a little bit now at the top too. Yep. But it's still like the same motion with the shot throughout with the body.